Dear students, I greet you today. My name is Alina Cadilla and I'm a proud UNAM alumni. It's such an honor to be extended an invite to speak to the students from my former university. All thanks to your Secretary of De Community Development and Gender Affairs, Ms. Alicia Nelengen. She extended me the invitation and I'm so glad to be here today. Today is World Suicide Prevention Day. This day is an awareness day that was initiated or brought by, by the International Association for Suicide Prevention. Most countries observe this day globally and I believe today the university would also like to play their part in observing the, in the observation of this day. The International Association for Suicide Prevention always gives a theme to this day every year. And the theme for this year is creating hope through action. According to the statistics, one in every hundred death is due to suicide. And that's one death too many. If we can create hope, if we can give someone in a dark place hope, if we can lift them up through our action, no matter how small or big, let's do it. Suicide is no stranger in our communities. Many of you may have even lost loved ones to suicide. Or perhaps you have had suicidal thoughts and the fact that you are here today is something that we can all be thankful for because you didn't act upon it. Perhaps you saw you sought help or you got helped or someone gave you hope which is the theme for this year. Although I'm not an expert in suicide, I believe my being here may create some hope for some people. There are a number of factors that may lead someone to be suicidal or to commit suicide. These may be mental problems, health problems, family problems, financial problems, relationship problem, to least but a few. Even academic problems when we talk about students. Perhaps the modules are not going well. Perhaps it's becoming difficult for you to just get to school, whether it's because of resources or perhaps even the tuition fees and you feel like your one chance to success is about to be taken away. Those are all valid fears and anxieties. You may even feel like perhaps you're being a burden to others. You might feel so many things that I wouldn't know about. But if you're feeling these things, I just want to tell you that your feelings are quite valid. You're not being unreasonable. You're not being unrealistic. I think if anything, you are more aware of yourself and your situation. And in that awareness, I want you to know, no matter how big, no matter how small the situation is, no matter how critical it is, just remember there is hope there is help. And if you reach out to the right places, to the right people, you will get that help. I'll share a bit of my story from my student days. Perhaps you can relate because I'm well too aware of these academic battles. It was quite easy for me to get into the university. As we all know, if you are now in university, that means you've met the minimum requirement of admission. At 
my time it was 25 points in five subjects including a D in English however the course I wanted required more than 35 points that is the bachelors of geology I do hold an honors in geology as I speak to you today while we are at admission requirements it can be quite an issue if perhaps your dream was to be a doctor a nurse a radiographer or something else and you are told you don't meet the require the admission requirements it can break your heart it can even demotivate you for sometimes you feel like because you are denied access to this then there's no more future for you i want to tell you if you find yourself in a faculty or in a course that is not what you initially wanted it's just okay remember everyone has their unique journeys to where they are going you may be studying education now but you are more than you know you have the affinity to either complete this degree and follow your dreams at a later stage how do I mean this you could become an educator touch so many lives and with your income as an educator you can finance your dream career studies because perhaps now you may be studying with a loan and I think if I remember correctly if you change a course abruptly you may interrupt the financing system so seek proper guidance I, I believe there are career guidances in the institution or at the admissions and the relative uh, relevant faculties people can guide you it doesn't mean if you're in this career today then that's it for you there are no age constraints to most courses and if you meet or you exceed the age there is something in your universities that is called mature entry i don't want to go in the details of that i just wanted to highlight that don't let this small roadblock lead you in a dark place as a student of course as a student you may be facing a lot of other challenges in the middle of going to school going to class perhaps there are background issues in your life it can be relationships I think most students have entered in one or two relationships it can be a friendship it can even be a romantic one it can even be family because the family dynamics if something is not okay at home or in any other relationship that's important to you I think it will affect how you function it will affect you overall and it can even overwhelm you and while we are here at overwhelmness that may lead to possible suicides I want you to know that all these things all these things have a place where you can go get counseling and get help there can even be financial burdens you feel like maybe you're about to get expelled for not paying tuition it can look very scary especially when this degree or this course or passing this um, is your one ticket to success you are perhaps the one thing your family is looking towards or the one person they think is going to be their family breakthrough i'll give a typical example of myself i'm a firstborn most firstborn take on the responsibility of making it in life and taking care of everyone else at home so going to university meant that i needed to be dedicated i needed to pass and i needed a job right after that jobs are hard to come by but it doesn't mean they are not there also there are other initiatives called innovation and creativity where you can point your skills even if you're not employed by someone and just add value to the world and make an income i'm not sure if i'm losing you somewhere i don't
want to go too much in my story. I just wanted to tell you struggles happen. Struggles help us find our strength. Struggles are not necessarily the end of our stories or our journeys. You will make it. I would like to think people like myself that has made it out of the system despite so many hardships that I'm not going to share here should serve as an inspiration to you that you too can make it against all odds. If you find yourself in an overwhelming situation, there is help. There is a directorate of student affairs at your school where there are social workers that can offer you counseling. I'll share the contacts and the name of your social counselor also if you find yourself outside of the school or you are perhaps just very far from your social worker remember in our communities there are also other people that can help you because i believe these social workers at school only work during their working hours which is between 7 30 and 4 30. so should you find yourself in a situation outside of those hours there are helplines things like child line and lifeline i will display the contacts on the screen i will also add them in the video description so that you can take it up also in the community there are people called there are pastors for example pastor can provide counseling free of charge you just need to go to them trust them with your story and they will guide you if you also have someone you trust perhaps a parent a guardian or these people that are called church elders i don't know how many of you understand or shiwambo but and they are not only those ones we also have other social workers in both the public sector under the ministry of health and in private sector if you have access to medical aid you can access those in private sector because you pay a fee for counseling but in the public sector it's free of charge i'm not quite sure where the location of the facilities are but i will gather the information and pass it over to miss Melenge. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best with your studies. I know times are hard. COVID may be making it a bit harder, but you can do this. I thank you.